Welcome to today's Silver Sneaker tutorial of Energy Chi. Today, I'm going to be breaking down two different formats in the Silver Sneakers Energy Chi series, and that is going to be Cycle of the Moon and Circle of Breath. One is a horse stance, and the other is an L stance. Now, I'm your host, Jesse Sawyer, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, Silver Sneaker Flex instructor, you can find out more about me, visit my website at www.jessieswear.com. Now, perceived exertion today, seated or standing, is going to be a one to three. Make sure you breathe throughout. Make sure you get physician clearance before you engage in any type of exercise routine with me. Make sure that you hydrate as well. And then again, if you have any lightheadedness, pain, dizziness, discomfort, or fatigue, hit the pause button. Come back a little bit later. Now, today's episode or tutorial is really to demonstrate some of those simple moves or simple formats so that you can learn how to transition those moves together when you're taking this class at another location or if you're just practicing with me throughout the entire week. It is going to be the cycle of the moon, the L stance, and the circle of breath. Now typically when you're going into that circle of the breath, you're going to be coming off an embrace the moon reach up and down, and you're gonna be coming back into your crescent moon rotation. Your crescent moon rotation starts here, and you just kind of relax those shoulders, and then you circle that right hand over top of the left. Again, you want to relax the shoulders. You're not making a big circular motion, but this is typically where you're going to be standing in going into that cycle of the moon and into that L stance. Right now I have the right over the left, tucking my belly, tucking the tailbone, and I'm at that arch, that 60 to 80 degree range of motion. Now I want to empty out to that right side, so I'm taking my left leg and I'm shifting it or sliding it over close to that right leg. Toes are down, heel is up on that left leg, and I'm still in this crescent moon rotation. I'm just in an empty out stance. 90% of my weight is on that right side, 10% is on that left side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up that left leg and I'm going to step away from myself or my body and I'm gonna create an L stance. That L stance has, it's like that warrior, if you were doing yoga, left leg's pointed that way and my right foot is pointed towards you and they line up with each other, heel to heel. Now, I do that cycle of the moon as I rotate my body towards the left, left arm is underneath, and I now take that left arm and circle up and push through into that right side, shifting my weight to the right, right comes over left, and then I shift. The nice part about when you're opened up to the left side, or whichever foot is pointing away from the screen, is you're able to really rotate and get more of a torso twist or a thoracic spine rotation. So it's your nice inhalation and then your nice exhalation here. Inhale here, as that right goes over left, and press through. Again, you're nice and tall. Again, the goal is to teach you transition. So as we come back to this left side, I'm gonna teach you transition. So as you take that left hand up and over, I want you to pick up that left foot and bring it back to the front so that you're in that horse stance and then your left is over right and then you slide that right foot into this position. I'll show you that again. Crescent moon rotation, you're in that L stance we come from that right side and we go in to that left side right here. Left arm comes up, left foot comes up and you pivot back into that center position and slide that right foot and empty out. Now, if you can hold on one second, I do have puppy dogs and I have one dog that thinks that he needs to eat on these and this is the second time today that he has grabbed that 
and my wife's not gonna be too happy because we just bought them. So I'll do that again. Crescent moon rotation. Empty out, big open, and we rotate. Left over right, push through, right over left. Left over right, nice inhale, exhale here. And I'm gonna transition this time so that you can see the transition to the opposite side. So left arm's gonna come up, left leg's going to come up, right leg shift, empty out, and I rotate it right in to right over left and push through, left over right. And now I'm just going to be able to get a nice more thoracic rotation on that right side and push through. Nice inhale, nice exhale, nice inhale, nice exhale. And I'm going to transition Again, back into the cycle of the moon from this right side. So that right arm's gonna come up. I'm going to pivot back into that crescent moon rotation, empty out, and I'm going to go right into that cycle of the moon to the left side now. Exhale. I'm gonna transition again so that we can see ourselves going back into that right side, empty out and then transition right in with that half step into that L and come back through. There you have it. So that is your cycle of the moon, but now what we need to do is we need to be able to transition into the circle of the breath. So how do you transition into that circle of the breath? Well, it's pretty simple. As we go back and exhale here. So we're just gonna pivot again, but this time when we pivot and we take that right hand, we're just going to bring those hands together. And as you've seen, I'm back into that horse stance. I'm gonna just go down into that drop position, lift those arms up. You can stay in the Dantian position the entire time and lift on up. There you go. Nice inhalation here. Nice exhalation here. But I wanna show you that again from that left side. So we're gonna empty out, go into that cycle of the moon, L stance, go into that left side now. Nice inhale here, nice exhale. We'll do that one more time. Now we're gonna transition into the circle of the breath from the left side now where we take that left hand and left leg and we just drop down with the hands down in front now so they can just be in this position, open up, and they don't have to be in the Dantian position. However, as you transition into the next move, which would be, uh, I think, pierce the clouds, you would definitely be in that Dantian position as you open and exhale. So this motion is just a circular motion. You're lifting and then you're just rolling those arms out, side view looks like this. And almost like a Ferris wheel, you just circle them and then you come back to this position to finish off in that Dantian. So I'm gonna run through them both, cycle the moon, both sides, and then we're gonna go into the circle of the breath and then I'm gonna go into my bow position. So clearly we just take that right over left. We go into that crescent moon rotation. I'm going to shift to my right. I'm going to go into that L stance with my left leg pointing that way, right leg pointing towards you. And then I'm going to just do a few of these. Exhale. This will be my last one through on that right side. When I come to this left side and I circle around, I'm gonna pick up that left foot. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to empty out like this. I'm going to half step into that L.
Remember, on the open side, you can get a nice good rotation. You want to be nice and tall. You want to have some continuity, the upper body, lower body, and that breath. And you want to take pressure off your shoulders. So you want those hands and those shoulders to hang down. You don't want to keep them tense. And you can move at the pace that you want. You can move at my pace or you can even move slower where you're just... This will be the last one and I'm gonna go into that circle of breath. So I lift up that right, I'm gonna bring both hands together, I'm going to bring my feet back into that horse stance and I'm gonna go into that circle of breath. And I'm keeping my hands in the Dantian this time. Side view, back into that frontal view, and then the ability to stop as you come back up and push them together. There you go. A tutorial of Silver Sneakers Energy Chi where we take Cycle of the Moon and we transition it into Circle of Breath. Hopefully that rejuvenated you, gave you a little more breath, and it prepared you for when you take a class with me or if you're out in the community and you're taking a Silver Sneakers Energy class with a different instructor, that you will have the basic understanding of the form and formats of these two exercises or forms or formats and be able to put them together. Go in peace, my friends, and please subscribe to this channel and keep coming back and keep learning because learning's growing and growing, well... We don't want these two dogs to grow too much more because they are going to get me in trouble with, you can see, the dish towels again. Peace, my friend.